Hello and welcome. Welcome to uh, the first day of the Spring Bob Blog Festival. This is uh, Nelly Deutsch and not Ebba. Ebba is here and I'm going to pass on the mic to her uh, in a few minutes. Um, if you could just add in the chat box where you're from, how you're doing. It's been a long day. We've got another session after this one. So um, how are you holding out? Uh, we just had a session on uh, Daddy Blogger, a father who blogs. And um, I learned a lot about marketing and all kinds of ideas on what to blog about. Um, so it's really exciting to, um, to be able to learn from um, the presenters. And um, Eba is our next presenter from Sweden. Um, yes, if you could just add in the chat box um, where you're from. Feel free, by the way, to use the chat box. I don't think I would survive, um, you know, listening to so many wonderful pre people and uh, presentations if it weren't for the chat box. I mean, the chat box really keeps me focused. So feel free to use the chat box to reflect, to think, to share, to... Just use it like you would, um, you know, Twitter, except that it's not made public. I'm recording this uh, through Camtasia. It'll be uploaded to YouTube and Vimeo, but your names will not appear. Uh, the only thing that I'm um, sharing is uh, Ebba's voice and, um, and the slides, okay? So the whiteboard, and that's it. So we've got participants um, from different parts of the world. And thank you for sharing that. Uh, Eba, you can see we've got Spain, Argentina, Venezuela, um, Los Angeles. Hello, Linda. Australia, Sue, what time is it in Australia? I, I, uh, I guess it's the next day. You said you'll join us tomorrow. So your tomorrow is our today. <laughs> So it's kind of uh, confusing, 9 a.m. in the morning. When you said uh, last night, your night, uh, that you were going to join us um, tomorrow, I thought that was funny. But yes, it, it's just amazing how we can travel around the world through these online presentations. So right now we're in Sweden. So we'll hear from Ebba about uh, the weather in Sweden. Just to let you know, we've got participants from Mexico, Australia, Canada, United States, Japan. Um, did I say Australia? Um, Greece. Let's see, Turkey. Any other countries? Uh, Portugal, Spain. And I think that's it. Okay, and Paris, of course. We also had Paris and um, a few from Greece here. All right, so let's get started. I'm not going to take up uh, any more time here. I'm excited about um, Ebba's session. And um, I guess um, you started with the first slide, so I was kind of confused. Okay, so that's it. Um, our first collage is the first slide. All right, so Eva, let me, uh, you didn't come in with your co-presenter, so I'm going to uh, pass on the mic to you. I believe I saw you. Um, here we go. All right. And there you are. Hello, Eva. Good to see you. I wonder what the weather is like in Sweden. I'm sure it's not as cold as in Toronto, um, but maybe it is. Hello. Hello. We hear you. Uh, maybe a bit low on my end. Can everybody hear? Eba? Okay, yes. It's fine? Yes. Yeah. Um, hello, uh, everyone. Uh, it's nice to be here at the Spring Blog Festival. I have followed some of, some of the sessions, uh, I will say, this afternoon uh, for now it is uh, nearly middle of, middle of the night here in Sweden. It's uh, 11 p.m. and it's um, it has been a lovely sunny day, but uh, tonight it is uh, rainy and uh, nearly stormy. So we will see what uh, the night will uh, bring for us. 
Um, but I have followed uh, some of the sessions uh, during the afternoon and it was really good. And it was really interesting to see how people are thinking about uh, blogging. I think it's an excellent idea to, to have this uh, kind of session to bring up what people are doing when they are blogging and why they are blogging and what they learn from blogging because I think uh, blogs is really uh, a fantastic uh, tool and uh, a good tool for networking. Um, it started with this, uh, 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 as you said, uh, Nelly, um, there are participants from uh, many countries and I saw in the chat and you um, mentioned, uh, I think, most of them. So I think it is uh, were really uh, participants from uh, more or less all over the globe. And that is nice. So I hope we can share some um, nice talks and uh, ideas. Um, I started with this uh, first um, um, screenshot from um, the Spring Blog Festival because I think it's a very nice um, way of presenting uh, such a uh, such a nice um, initiative because uh, blogging is about people and about networking. And it is me who is uh, up in the left corner And thank you very much, uh, Nelly, for inviting me for the for this uh, session. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I work at Lund University in Sweden as project manager, and I work mainly with um, open learning, we are um, social uh, networking tools, uh, MOOCs, uh, etc., and everything about uh, open, and that is a which uh, variety. I also work with the uh, international projects uh, in those areas. And I'm a head reviewer for um, FQL for certification for institutions with e-learning, like Unique, for example, and ECB Check. And I also work on MOOC projects. Um, and I'm in a board member in several national and international organizations within the open, open up ed area. And those are just uh, some of the logos which um, for organization which I'm involved. Uh, I also like this uh, mind map you have done, Nelly. It was really to see how different um, perspectives uh, all of us um, have uh, on blogging. And this time it's me up in the in the right corner. And my title was about uh, resources for blogging. Um, so, um, session on the dialogue, I uh, will rather call it a dialogue, we will focus on the benefits of blogging. And why are you in the, in the blogging game? And I would like to write, raise questions like uh, why, how, when, and about what. Um, I think this uh, image uh, shows some of the features and the benefits of blogging. As I said earlier, blogging is about people and about networking. And it's also very much about um, uh, things and writings and uh, like and um, identity, getting friends, uh, getting connected with people you like or you maybe don't like, uh, and new people uh, and new things, new ideas. So why? Why am, I why am I blogging and why are people blogging? I think maybe most of you know George Siemens, who is uh, one of the um, founders and co-writers co co about uh, connect connectivism. And he says that um, 
learning, learning is more critical than knowing. And the network is the learning. And now how supplemented by nowhere and now know who. That is, um, I think, very much about blogging because you like uh, to read uh, blog blog posts with from people you know very well because you trust them and then you can trust the content with what, what they are blogging about. Um, and of course, also. Um, you learn some new things, you learn new people, and with the blogging, it is um, also like that, that um, uh, especially when you start to, to blog, uh, it's always good to refer to other people, because in that way you, you enrich your, your network, and you also enrich, enrich um, uh, trust. Um, that was also one of the first things um, when I started to blog uh, that I learned that, that people said, said to me, start to write uh, writing, but do also um, refer to what other people are thinking, maybe in the same kind of area, maybe they have some kind of the same ideas, maybe they all have um, almost opposite ideas, but um, it doesn't matter. But it is good to involve, blogging is about involving other people. And it's also, as I said, it's uh, about uh, building trust. So why it is good to have a network? Uh, with the which network, which you can get with the blogging, either with the blogs like, uh, like blog posts or microblogging like Twitter. Um, you find materials, you find ideas, you find strategies, and you have support from people from all over the world. Uh, very, very easy. And you can also find out that you are not alone. People uh, comment on your blog, you can comment on other, other people's blogs, and uh, the discussion can go on. So what about network? Uh, this image uh, shows very well, I think, um, what you can gain from a rich network. First of all, you can find that you're really not alone. Um, and you can expand, uh, expand your, your network uh, to nearly, more or less nearly the very, very, very rich uh, arena from the where you were, the working place or the school or the teaching you're working with yourself to colleagues, departments, institutions, to industry, community, and you have, can have an outreach uh, globally. Um, so why why, so why, why blogging? I think it's very much, think it's very much uh, to have um, to get ideas, to, get ideas, to see what is this, what's going on, um, to learn. Uh, either you can follow uh, bloggers in a special area if you are especially interested in something, um, or you can just uh, see what is out there because by blogging you get very easy um, uh, some, kind of some kind of overview of what is going on in the special theme you are maybe interested in. Of course, it's uh, rather, um, especially with the microblogging, just in uh, 130 signs you can, can get a lot of um, information, very quick, very easy. And you, if you would like to have a deeper understanding about something, you can just uh, dig into to that, but you, you get an overview very quick and easy. And blogging is much about collaboration. Uh, and as I have already been said, um, uh, very often when you are blogging, uh, it is good to relate to what others have done. And that is a way to collaborate and to enrich your network.
and also with collaboration, uh, you get other kind of IDs, um, either similar or opposite. And you can widen your perspectives. Especially if you got uh, comments um, on your blogs, uh, maybe questions, maybe thoughts, maybe reflections. Then you can build further on, the, on them, and then you can write a new blog post about that. And I will have an example later on in my presentation about how that can, can work. Um, there's also some kind of blogs, there's also some kind of platform for the common good. It is free, it is cheap, it is very easy. You share knowledge and knowledge and experiences, thoughts. And you get into, with, with, with blogging, you get into words, which maybe you haven't come into otherwise. Thoughts from people, um, research maybe, or just um, free thoughts or reflections, or reflections co uh, connected to search, for example. Uh, I would say also that uh, blogging is very much about uh, quality, because it is um, about uh, peer review. If I write a blog and people comment on that, like it. And people like it, it, and people share it, for example. Uh, people um, or people are, blogs, in their blogs, uh, referring to me, or if I'm referring to other people, or like their, their blogs. It is, um, quality is very much about peer, peer review. And I think um, that is more or less um, maybe the, the best way of uh, measuring uh, quality, because uh, quality is in the eyes of the beloved, as uh, one used to say. Um, so, um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, um, when you're blogging, uh, one of the main thing is about to build on others' work, and that others can build on your work. And that is the reason why you really have to both be honest and write in a, in a way that you can uh, attract people, um, attract uh, readers, attract uh, reflectors. Um, and when you build on others' work, um, we can build knowledge and, ex uh, and experiences together. Is someone asking a question or let me know if that helps? Maybe not. Um, also with blogging, um, it's a way to learn to learn. Uh, I wrote it in English because uh, in the image the text is in Swedish, <laughs> so maybe here you can learn some Swedish as well. <laughs> but um, with blogging, um, you really uh, learn things uh, quite easy because blogs are often very uh, short, they are easy to read, they are easy to understand, you get a which uh, overview about the topic, especially if the blog, the blogger has um, uh, referred to other authors, other blogs, um, other kind of research. So how? Maybe there are some questions, are some questions uh, so far, far about uh, why. I don't think I saw any in the chat. Okay, we continue. Uh, so what about how? Um, blogging is about, blogging is about uh, global, collaboration. global collaboration. It is, 
it is it is very easy to have a, a huge uh, and large reach out and you can connect with people from all over the world from all over uh, all over different kind of uh, of fields and it's very easy to also to um, I think both were both with the microblog like Twitter and um, and, and the, the other blogs. It's very easy to get contact with people as people are keen to come and keen to contact you, keen to read what you are writing or what you are thinking and what you are expressing. Um, and it's also you can in your blogs you can also of course raise uh, questions for something. I have a, a colleague of mine from psychology write a lot and uh, for uh, you know it's very difficult to find the references and sometimes you forgot uh, details about references. And um, she said I just asked on Twitter. Uh, does anyone know this uh, reference? And uh, in five minutes, she had ten, she had ten answers, and all, those ten and all those ten answers were exactly the same. So there were some trust. So this this was really the details about this reference. She could trust it was ten persons who had said it in ten, in five minutes. And that is also the good thing with with blogging because uh, when you're writing your blog, uh, either on Twitter or Twitter or uh, as a blog post, it is always good to raise questions because um, people who are reading your blogs would like to think themselves and to maybe they have sometimes something they can contribute with and reflect. So it's always, um, so always um, good to, to, to raise some kinds of questions uh, in between what you're writing about. Um, with blogging, with blogging um, you enrich your personal learning network. And here's the Twitter and the blogs, uh, maybe the one of the larger, but we have also other kinds of social media where you can express your thoughts and reflections. Um, like uh, in Wikis, in um, Facebook, uh, etc. And what is interesting is also how, how those kind of social media um, connect with each other. And that is also the good thing with um, with blogging, uh, because uh, it is so easy to share. You just click the button for Google Plus, for example, or Facebook, or for LinkedIn, and you have spread the word even more, and in just your your blog post. Uh, for example, uh, this afternoon when I have uh, sent the slides uh, to Nelly, uh, I wrote a short blog post about uh, this uh, session tonight and about the uh, Spring Blog Festival. And um, it was uh, quite short, uh, some text and some uh, images. Um, and uh, then I shared it on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus, and uh, a lot of people have already commented on it. There's one person who can't hear. Is it good with the UR? With the others? You can hear me. You can hear me. Hear me fine. Okay. Okay. So it's good. Um, so you, you have an, so you, you have an uh, enormous uh, reach out uh, in very easy, easy way. You just uh, click some uh, buttons uh, on your blog post and then then it's out. Of course, you can um, decide yourself. And that is also the good thing because uh, you decided yourself what you would like to do. Um, so here again, so here again uh, the variety of uh, the social media and the, what kind of uh, imprints uh, a blog can have on uh, on social media. Um, 
also I think also with blogging, blogging it's some kind of, some kind of a sandbox. <laughs> you can um, uh, experiment, uh, you can reflect on things, maybe you haven't uh, thought, uh, every thought uh, ready yet, and you can just uh, write a blog post and or a Twitter, and uh, you can ask questions, you can... Uh, um, have some thoughts and then you can can end with some questions or um, asking people does anyone know further about that and uh, for sure you can get get comments so in that way you can um, uh, play around and um, that is why why I also stress that uh, blogging is very much about uh, learn how to learn because uh, first you when you express something you, you Learn you, you learn a lot yourself, but then when people, comment, then when people you, comment on you, you know, what you have done, more, you learn even more. And uh, if you, you then can contribute, you can uh, learn, learn even more. I also had that experience that um, from, my, from my, my, my blog post, people have, have read them, and then they have con contact, contacted me and said, um, um, I, I, I will read your blog post about that and that, uh, and um, can we share some um, some ideas? And uh, can we maybe write an article? Can we maybe do something together? If you like to be in a research project, etc. So you get to extend your network even in in um, other areas um, when you express yourself uh, like uh, like blogging. Um. Yes, and then um, yes, um, are there some questions, there some uh, questions so far? Uh, okay, um, so blogging about what? Um, that is a nice question. Uh, um, of course, you can blog about everything you can li you like. Uh, it can either be um, like um, your private uh, interest or your leisure interests, or about food or about recipes or about uh, some uh, whatever you like. It, but it can also, of course, be professional. Um, both. And you can do both. Uh, you can have different kind of blogs for different kind of purposes. Uh, what I like very much uh, is um, to have this um, perspective, like uh, with the rise home and the serendipity, serendipity um, approach. The rise home is um, um, is the way that um, it's the opposite of uh, of a linear. Um, discussions. You never know what, never know what where it ends up where it ends because uh, the root uh, threads takes their own way and if, when you start blogging uh, maybe about uh, some idea you have and then when people comment on it uh, and then you build further on your blog and people maybe comment again uh, um, you really um, built up something which you maybe haven't uh, really uh, thought of at the beginning. Um, and that is also about what the serendipity is about. You find something good, um, even if you haven't really looked for it from the really beginning, but when you see that the uh, expressions uh, to the blogs have um, been, been increased and been enriched, uh, there is uh, something good coming out, which you maybe haven't uh, seen already from the beginning because you haven't uh, that kind of awareness from the beginning. So I like uh, those ways very much. Um, it's also very much about uh, stepping stones. You you take those uh, stones where you are able to to, to walk on. <laughs> yes, it's a nice photo. Um, That is also and that is also when you're writing yourself, but 
also when you are reading what others are doing, um, you find things here and there which you like, uh, which you can build further on, which you can reflect on, which you can maybe uh, collaborate on, and you take those, those paths which uh, suit you. Um, about what to, to blog on. It's uh, very much about um, challenges and to challenge yourself. You can, uh, what I mean by that is that I think for the whole presentation I haven't been talking very much about that. Maybe you don't really know exactly from the beginning. I mean, you don't have all the answers yourself, but you can start to express uh, uh, express some um, some thoughts and then uh, other comments on it, or you can comment on it yourself a bit further on the blog, and you can refer to yourself as well. Um. <laughs> yes, it's uh, good to be upside down sometimes. <laughs> it is. Um, and I think uh, that is really what uh, blogging is about, because um, you don't, uh, of course, know how um, people react on what you are saying, saying or thinking or writing um, and maybe you don't know it uh, always yourself either but uh, you learn from it and you can build further on it and as I said earlier uh, sometimes it's nice and that is what I'm doing sometimes also that uh, I just uh, maybe raise uh, questions uh, maybe I have a thought and um, then I raise questions um, and people react on that, and um, then um, yes, maybe I can take this example here. Um, uh, last uh, summer, for example, I, I work for FQL, that it's the European organization for um, quality and e-learning, uh, FQL, and uh, Last uh, summer, um, you know, the MOOCs, uh, the MOOCs uh, massive open online courses are very much uh, debated and uh, a lot of people are talking about, uh, oh, what about the quality in MOOCs? Um, so we started, uh, some of us in uh, FQL, um, to um, start a very, very, um, Small in one way, in one way uh, no money, and so just uh, we, we just did it. We we were discussing, and we said, why don't we start, why don't we start a, a group, uh, a, group uh, a mock, a mock blog. blog? So we invited, so we invited uh, twelve of the most, um, maybe not famous, just yes, just yes, famous in one way, those, but those, those persons who are were really, really from the beginning with the MOOCs, uh, like uh, Stephen Downs, like uh, Goyne Connell, like, uh, like uh, Wayne McIntosh, uh, like Dave Cromier, um, like Gilly Salman. Um, I mean, many of us have been with the MOOCs already from the beginning. And we also had one student. Um, so we said, um, we invited those, we invited those uh, 12 people. And why, was it just and why was it just 12? It was because we said we will do it uh, during 12 weeks. And um, of course, that was a good time. And it was uh, three months, uh, so it was a good time. Uh, and um, so we just uh, sent an email to, the, to those people. And um, of course, some of them, um, we, we don't know them quite well, all of us. but. Um, and we said, uh, we would like to start a MOOC project about quality uh, with blogs to write blog posts. And uh, the challenge for you is to write, from your perspective, those 12 people, from your perspective, how do you see quality on MOOCs? Uh, you have uh, 1,500 words. And we launched, and we launched uh, one MOOC uh, each week. And all those, uh, 12, those uh, 12 people, I mean, those are very busy people, and they are on conferences, they are writing books, and they are really busy. But all of them uh, replied immediately on our email. Yes, of course, we are in the project. Yes, of course, we will do it. So we um, um, dedicated... Um, 
each person one week and they had a deadline and all did it all other all of them did it in time um, so 1500 words in the blog each week uh, of course we started the whole project with some kind of introduction so the first blog was uh, from us <laughs> and then uh, each week we launched a, a, a blog from each of those uh, persons uh, and uh, as blogs have the possibilities with uh, uh, comment fields and with Twitter and with uh, uh, sharing possibilities um, uh, there was a lot of comments on it uh, and there were even uh, comments from between the, 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 um, the blog authors of course then after those uh, 12 weeks um, we had uh, 12 different perspectives from each of them uh, about uh, quality on mix and um, from those, from those um, uh, blog posts uh, we could find we could we built further on that so uh, at the annual conference uh, last year for FQL we had a full uh, MOOCathon uh, day a whole day on, with MOOCs and um, from those those uh, 12 blog posts we could uh, extract uh, seven uh, dimensions on quality on MOOCs and that was quite interesting because I mean, because, I mean the, the tool was really really simple we didn't need it to have any, have any money from the European Commission or from uh, UNESCO or some other places <laughs> we just did it by uh, by interest and by an easy tool like a blog and uh, with enthusiasm and with uh, with people like to share their knowledge and experiences with others so they could we could build further so from those uh, 12 blog posts uh, really, really we really got really got a re really, 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 really rich um, knowledge base about mux and, um, and um, those, uh, those are, uh, are still available uh, at fql so you can read it if you like i can um, send the link yeah, let me see you can find it on the fql's uh, home page And I think uh, this is a, as I said, it's a nice way to, to start a project. Uh, it's very simple and it's very easy, and uh, uh, you can really gain a lot from it. I mean, it is. Um, I was thinking when I was invited by to this uh, session about uh, about blogging. Um, it is uh, similar in one way because uh, those of us who are involved and uh, talk about uh, blogging, uh, we have. Uh, all the different kind of perspectives and especially this the mind map where which you ha have done in um, really, really shows that um, blogging, is about blogging is about so many things, different things and there are so many dimensions and perspectives, perspectives on it and it's a really, and a really a rich uh, source to to build on, to build on. Um, when? when? Um, I think, uh, I think uh, for me, I think it's very good to to, uh, blog. to blog and to to read, to read both, 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 both to write write, blogs, write uh, blogs myself and also to read blogs when I would like to have new perspectives on things. And when I would like to, when I want to see things from a different side, and when I would like to see um, what other people are thinking about some special area, or um, when I would like to see um, to learn from others what I am doing and what I am thinking about and what uh, I am reflecting on. So to, uh, when I need to get some new perspectives. Um, 
um, and also when I need to to have some new inspiration, uh, because um, most of those who are who are blogging are doing it because they have some kind of um, enthusiasm to to do it and to share with others and to inspire others. Um, interest or for the special topic. Um, I think um, awareness also about very much about uh, informal learning. Here are some Swedish uh, text again. Um, uh, it's learning in the free time or informal learning. Um, I think uh, blog posts, uh, both writing blog posts and um, reading blog posts um, are very much about informal learning. Um, you don't, don't get uh, credit for it, but you, I mean, you learn, it, learn, learn a lot and you can gain a lot from it. Um, but of course, it can be used for, for formal learning as well. I think, uh, for example, at universities where I'm working, uh, it is quite common that um, students, when they have their exams, have to uh, write blog posts uh, in some special topics. And uh, talking about MOOCs, uh, it is very, very common to have their assignments uh, to write a blog on, on the MOOC you are, you are enrolled in and to comment on, uh, let's say, two or three other people's blogs. So it has become a very, uh, very uh, common uh, assessment uh, tool, I will say. But otherwise, I will see that it's mainly for informal learning. But um, as I said, uh, I think um, I think it should be more uh, used uh, also for for formal learning. I mean, um, I, I haven't seen so. For example, when you're oops, 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 oops. for example, um, when you're talking about uh, the flipped classroom, uh, it it would be nice to see if um, if there could be more blog posts coming up for a reference uh, list, for example, and uh, that students um, should reflect on. Uh, X, uh, X, number of X number of blogs, uh, blog posts in a special topic and to maybe write a, an own blog post about uh, different kind of perspectives on a topic. That could be excellent, I think. And actually, we are, and actually we are, we are trying to, to do that at my university. Um, so when um, it is very much about motivation and emotion, um, I mean, both writing and painting or whatever it is, you need to be motivated. motivated. You need to have some kind of uh, ID um, to go, go, go ahead with. I think it's very um, difficult to force uh, to write a blog, to be, to be forced, because uh, as uh, it is had to have to be very sharp, it has to have to be rather short, it has to be very explicit, but it has also to be very easy to read. So then it's very important uh, how it is um, is written. And if you have some links and if you have uh, uh, images uh, or if you have um, film clips, etc. I think it's good to, to use a different kind of media because just text is very boring. So this was uh, the end of my presentation, and I think we can have some time to to discuss and, and talk. Thank you. I love that. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much um, for the presentation and for sharing uh, your thoughts on blogging. And it certainly is uh, caring and sharing, because that's what it's all about. It's about... Um, our human need to uh, to give and to receive. So thank you. Are there any? Yes, go yes. ahead.
Yes, yeah, so I was just. Uh, that, I mean, it is very much about um, sharing and to have this kind of that, that mindset mindset uh, that you would like to share and. Um, um, and I like um, you have seen this um, this slide before, Nelly. I, I always have this in, in the end: caring is sharing, and sharing is caring. Because I think open education is really much about that. I used to have it at the end of my uh, mail a few years ago until everybody else started using it, so I stopped. But um, I like the bowing. You know the fact that we can respect one another and and bow the way uh, i guess the japanese uh, some easterners do um you know in the west we don't really bow to one another and um, i think the the act of bowing to someone else is a very caring uh, position if you want to call it that it shows a lot of care. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very important that, uh, as I said, um, uh, even if it seemed to be rather, to be rather simple, uh, simple to, to write blog posts, and it is simple in many ways, but I think it's also very important that, um, uh, um, I mean, you have to, to learn how to, or maybe not learn, but you have to, to reflect on, on how, you are, how you are writing and how you are expressing your thoughts, because it need, you need to think about who is going to read it, and of course you never know. Uh, you don't know if it's um, a person who have knowledge about uh, the topic you're writing about, uh, or if it's um, you have very, very much knowledge about it, so it needs to be Simple in one way, but also very professional. Any comments um, in the chat? Um, I, I get confused with the word professional. I, I know that everybody has um, different meanings for it. And the word quality is also um, something that I'm not sure about. Um, you know, we talk about quality and um, professionalism I find the word ethics a lot easier to um, to understand yeah. yes uh, um, yes I can agree that that is a good word um, but they also, I mean, both quality and um, professionalism. professionalism. Uh, it, of course, it depends what kind of blog you are talking about. Uh, especially if you are um, blogging about your, uh, your professional work. It is, of course, very important that it is really professional. Um, but also, I think, but also I think um, if you are blogging about um, even your um, leisure interests, for example, uh, to enthusiasm uh, people to read and to reflect and to be interested in what you are writing or what you are presenting, um, it needs to be professional. <laughs> And I think really it is important to both have a lot of, a lot of um, links in your in your blogs and to have images and to have film clips and to have to use different kind of media, also to to attract a different kind of, um, of, of readers of, of your blog. Uh, I would also maybe stress that um, for, for researchers, for example, it is so very hard that uh, they blog about their research um, because they get uh, get an other outreach, and um, I, I have noticed that myself as well. Um, because otherwise, um, if you are, I mean, uh, if you are publishing in, in journals, for example, it takes uh, years sometimes to to get an outreach and to get uh, your articles published. But if you are blogging about it, you get uh, immediately. Um, uh, an outreach, and you get contacts, and you get comments, and you 
you have also the possibility to 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 get to get, uh, get known and to be invited, for example, for conferences, for um, writing other articles, for uh, research projects, etc. Um, a colleague of mine here at Lund University, she did her uh, PhD about um, about that. How researchers uh, used um, uh, used uh, blogging for their research uh, production. Carrie mentioned uh, perhaps respecting each other's views and not attacking them rather than debating them as part of professionalism. Well, that's what I'm saying is professionalism, you know, it borders around ethics, ethical behavior. Um, Carrie, if that's uh, what you mean. But then Tom says there's amateurs. Uh, so what would that be? Profession. Um, yeah, he wrote. It's very small. Uh, respecting and not um, attacking someone else's views. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter. Uh, she she started a, a blog yeah, some years ago about. Uh, she loved to to bake. And um, both bread and cakes and uh, different kind of things. And uh, she started the blog, she started yeah. the blog um, some, years uh, some years ago and with recipes. With recipes and, and with um, she also liked to um, photographing. So she, um, so she um, have always nice photographs and uh, nice uh, pictures uh, with her recipes and. Um, um, actually, now she has, she has um, some, I think she has some 2,000 um, viewers a week uh, from all over the world, even if most of the recipes are in Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's really nice. Um, reminds me of my daughter. She also has a blog um, of recipes in English. Uh, but that's because she was that's in preparation for a book she's a sports scientist and uh, nutritionist so we have something in common yeah. <laughs> uh, tom is comparing which is interesting professionalism with amateurism i'm not sure if I, that's also uh, another uh, you know another definition of professionalism as an amateur can you all can be you can be all-knowing you'll make mistakes one of the critiques of wikis is that a question can you be all-knowing I'm not sure I understand Tom Um, maybe, I can maybe I can say about something that, about uh, that. Um, I mean, many people say that um, um, that uh, Vic is, uh, as they are, write, they are writing by by amateurs. Uh, maybe it's not uh, always um, the right things which is coming up. Um, Actually, I'm, uh, actually I'm, uh, I am myself just uh, taking this course about uh, how to write in Wikipedia, but by um, Pete, uh, Pete Forst, who is one of the leading in uh, Wikipedia, and um, that is uh, as a MOOC, and uh, it started uh, last week. Uh, but actually, even on Wiki in Wikipedia, even if it is, uh, I mean, you, you know that for sure as well, or all of you, but even if, if it is by amateurs, um, it is a very, very strict control um, because you, when you're, you, you can write what you think about some subject, for example, but then there are people reviewing it all the time and it doesn't uh, come up um, uh, public if it's not um, reviewed by, by, uh, by others. So there's always some kind of peer review and I think um, that is the good thing with, uh, with the wikis, for example, and also with um, as I mentioned with, with blogging because with peer, with peer reviews you can en enrich uh, quality about things. 
Yeah, I think that's what's wonderful about wiki is the fact that every time someone adds to um, a wiki page, you get notified and then immediately you can take care of it. Um, I'm an admin of uh, wiki educator and uh, that's how we get rid of spam. You know, it's people who um, take care of uh, the public wikis like uh, wiki educator or wikipedia wikiversity and so on wiki university that's true tom there may be wikis like that but not wikipedia or uh, some of the other media wikis <laughs> Try it. Try Wikipedia. Try adding something to Wikipedia and see what happens. Yes, uh, I think that is a, a rather nice idea because uh, a lot of people have a lot of uh, a lot of um, I mean wrong understanding that um, and then it, it just keep going. But uh, if you try to really try to write your can see that it's not that easy that easy as to just write what you like so you can't just write you write the rubbish yeah i think um we want to continue this because i think the idea of professionalism and what we mean by professionalism i think there there are different aspects of it i right away thought of um, ethics when i thought of professionalism i didn't think of it as being something the op someone who's a specialist is a professional you don't have to be a specialist in my opinion to be a professional but can we continue this um eba in the um there tom has added the uh, link to the course feed so that we can continue this we've got another session the last session for today um with roselli who's going to be presenting in two minutes so um <laughs> We're going to go over there. Thank you so much, Eba. It was wonderful. I enjoyed it very, very much. And I know everyone else. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry it's so late at night. So good night to you. And if you want to join us for a nightcap, uh, there's one more session. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.